Folks, a lot of people uh, think they can clean a fish with just any knife, and, and in the big picture you can, but it just makes it so much simpler if you're using the proper equipment. This is our traditional kitchen knife. Notice the obvious differences right off the bat. That long, narrow sweeping blade, that's for cleaning different size fish. You're gonna have small fish, larger fish. No fish are exactly the same size. So that, that long, narrow sweeping blade, it makes it more versatile for cleaning different things. The biggest difference between a conventional kitchen knife and a fillet knife is the stiffness of the blade. That thing is pretty much no flex. This one flexes all kinds for going around bone, cutting through bone. The main parts of the, of the fillet knife that make it uh, the right candidate for the job is you have that nice slender sloping tip for making those tiny little cuts and cutting in small intricate areas, taking out cheeks, following around the backbone. You have the middle section, which is nice for, for nice, long, even cuts. And you have down here in front of what well, this is called the hilt. The hilt is, is the strongest part of the knife. You can push and cut through backbone, or if you're staking fish, you have that power there. So there's actually three sections of the blade that come into play throughout the cleaning of the fish process. You have this section for cutting through bone, this for nice sweeps, and the tip for going around areas. Um, the other thing to consider when looking for a knife, I like these uh, with the molded grips, that's a knurled grip when it's slippery and slimy. You want to find the knife that's going to fit in your hand. You don't want fingers overhanging or something like that. Fit within the hilt and the butt so it's in your hand and it's under control at all times. So you look for that flexible blade, nice sharp edge, flexible tip, and a nice handle that fits firm in your hand and you'll be fine. No matter what species you're fishing for, Rapala makes a knife that'll cover it. Largest salmon, right down to the smallest panfish. They have them in stainless steel, Teflon coating, and the new Easy, Easy Glide. They got you covered. Question I get asked a lot of times is, when should you sharpen your knife? Uh, there is no short answer to that. There's not an actual time frame, but the best thing to do is sharpen your knife before it actually gets dull. So after a few fish, just run it over the steel. This is a diamond steel, also a Rapala product. Just a couple nice, gentle sweeps. Nothing crazy, don't push too hard, and just maintain that edge. So if you're cleaning the fish and going around the bones, obviously your knife's gonna last a lot longer, your edge. If you're cutting through the rib bones, that's gonna make a difference. Just run it over the steel every three or four fish and it's just a nice, gentle, rolling motion. And be sure you do the tip, because all parts of the knife are being used when you're cleaning the fish. This also has the guard here, so you're safe from coming all the way through. And then when you get fancier at it, you can just go a little faster. To make a really nice edge on this after you're done stealing it, sometimes I'll take it and just run it through the ceramic guide. So just a set of cross ceramic sticks. Very, very gentle. P people tend to push way too hard on this. Just take it through ever so softly. I do it only one way so it doesn't cause a burr. Again, go right to the tip and nice, soft, soft strokes. Keep your knife good and sharp and it won't let you down when you have fish to clean.